Hi, it's Ashley from Sweet Dreams Bake Shop. And today we're going to be turning these into a beautiful little spherical clutch. Take some bling wrap and hot glue and a heavy duty apple stick and wrap that bling wrap around and you have made something super luxurious. Make sure to take that stick and stab it directly in the center of your apple and then dip, dip, dip. Today I am using white chocolate candy melts from Wilton in bright white and I've added a healthy dose of vegetable oil to make sure that everything is nice and smooth. I am putting on a little bit of a chunkier sprinkle today because I want this purse to really stand out and pop. A little word of advice, you do have to treat your apple a little bit differently than when you are making cake pops because generally cake pops come out of the freezer or fridge so they're nice and cold. Your apple will most likely be at room temperature so it's going to take a little bit longer for the chocolate on the outside to set up. Which in turn means that you need to wait a little bit longer before you add your sprinkles on. To create the Chanel design, I am cutting out a circle and then using the end of a piping tip to create a smaller circle on the inside. And then I am going to cut so that I am making a little C shape. And then I'm gonna do that twice. If you've watched my tutorials before, you know that when I'm doing fondant work or cookies or piping, that I generally just kind of eyeball what I'm doing. And if you don't feel comfortable with doing that, then you can for sure print out a picture and then cut out your fondant on top of that picture to make sure that it's perfect and to your liking. I'm adhering all of these pieces with just a little dab of white chocolate on the back. Now, if you've ever seen these spherical clutches that all the big name brands are now putting out, then you'll know that they have those really long straps. And whenever they take a picture of them, it's always piled on top or in front of the purse. So we're kind of trying to recreate that. When I envisioned this purse apple in my head, I saw something really blingy, but also crisp and clean and white and silver. So I'm adding in a lot of these white pearls. I know a lot of people avoid eating these pearls because they're afraid it might hurt their teeth, but I've bitten into these quite a few times and it really has just kind of a gentle sugary snap. I'm showing you one way of how to do this, but really whenever you're decorating, I always find that you might have a plan in mind, but it always goes off the path just a little bit. For example, I did not know that I was going to add flowers to this, but I'm using that little chocolate mold and sticking my fondant directly into it. And it's working out great to just pull out the flowers really easily. On to our second chocolate covered apple purse. We are going to do the same thing, except I'm going to add a little bit more bling to this one and make it a little bit more silver. Again, I am going in and adhering that fondant with a little dab of white chocolate on the back, and then I'm just going to press in these little silver pearls. And if you press it in and they pop off, then you can use a little bit of white chocolate as well to kind of stick them in right there. Or you could bring out your steamer and just lightly, lightly steam your fondant and then stick the pearls in really easily. I'm pressing my fondant into this pearl mold and then using it as these straps for our little clutch. Today I'm actually using fondant made by Wilton and it's actually working really well in this mat here because I don't have to add any cornstarch or anything because there's no sticking happening. They turned out absolutely beautiful and glamorous, exactly as I had envisioned. Now you could just leave them like that and put them in a little cupcake liner like I'm doing. And if you're having a party, you could leave them out on the party table, but I'm going to be giving these away. So I want to package them. And I'm just using these cellophane bags that I found from my local Walmart, but literally you can find these anywhere. And then I'm hot gluing an extra strip of that beautiful bling wrap just to really tie everything together and to make it feel a little bit more luxurious than just curling ribbon. You can store these in the fridge for quite a while because they're very protected by the white chocolate, but you should be eating them within a week or so. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you want to be part of the Sweetie Fam. 
Hit that notification bell so you know when we upload, which right now is happening at 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time daily. But sometimes I have a double upload day. Bye!